Hey guys, welcome back to The Cellar. So last night I watched the movie Beast starring Idris Elba, despite hearing a lot of negative things about it, unfortunately. So as a fan of his, I was just going to give it a shot either way. So today I'm going to be discussing the movie and if it's worth the watch. I'll be right back. So Beast was released August 19th, 2022. It's starring Idris Elba, who plays Dr. Samuels. So the basic plot of it is he's recently widowed. Him and his two daughters, Nora and Meredith, go to South Africa to visit one of their friends, Martin. So while there, they are hunted by a rogue lion. His entire pride was killed by poachers. So that's the gist of the movie. So... Um, when I first saw this, you know, the trailer for this, I'm like, this is awesome. A horror movie with Idris Elba. I'm a huge fan of his. I think he's amazing. So I'm like, I have to see this. So what also I liked about this movie is the tagline. Sometimes the rustle in the bushes actually is a monster. I really liked that. That kind of drew me into the movie even more. That's mysterious. And I, it, it was just a really cool tagline for it. So kudos to whoever created that it sold me. So the movie came out and there was a lot of negative reviews about it, just people bashing it. So it took a little while for me to watch it, but I found it streaming on Peacock. So I gave it a try last night. So overall, I did enjoy the film. It was it wasn't a bad film. People are ripping it apart for things I really don't understand. Now, there is some character development. So when people don't survive or get hurt, you are upset. So, you know, I appreciate that. Um, there's a lot of action. It's rated R for gore, um, violence. You know, there's, you're just like, you know, it, it's a rogue lion and he's out for revenge. So when I originally saw this trailer, I thought there was maybe something supernatural going on, you know, because it's like, oh, this is not, a, um, this is unlike any lion I've ever seen. So I'm like, oh, is this like a monster monster movie? It's not, you know, it's, it's not supposed to be like a, anything supernatural, anything like it's not a monster. It's just a pissed off lion. I don't want to give too much away about the film because I because I think it is worth a watch. I'm going to say that right now. I do think it's worth a watch. There's some things about it that I didn't really love, you know, like the 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 dynamic between the two sisters, Nora and Meredith. The, you know, the bickering was a little irritating at times. And as somebody who has so many sisters, I know there's a I know it happens, but I know there's a time and place for it. So if you're being hunted by a lion, maybe that is not the time and place for it. So that was a little irritating at times. You know, the older sister just, she was just very stubborn and she put herself in situations that could get herself killed and her father and sister killed, which was kind of frustrating. Um, of course, Idris Elba kills his role. He is just... He's the man. I'm, you know, I mean, I don't know if I'm a little biased because I'm just such a fan of his and just have the mass biggest crush ever on him. But I didn't think it was a bad film. The The shots in South Africa were absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, of course, there's a, there were some things that weren't realistic. But there's some things that were really, really cool. You know, it was it was violent. It was a little brutal at times. It was fun. I, I had a good time. It was it's a movie that I can watch again. I didn't love it. It was it's not going to be my, on my top 10, but I didn't hate it and I didn't dislike it. I did enjoy it. As soon as I'm done watching a movie, I think to myself, can I watch this again? If I can watch it again, then it was a decent movie. It was a good movie. And I think this was. Um, I really just didn't have any complaints. I just besides like the bickering, um, some things were not realistic. Um, there's a final scene. I just was like, really? really guys i'm not gonna give that away obviously because i don't want to give too many spoilers but you know if you watch it you will see what i'm talking about um yeah besides that i i liked it you know if i had to rate this film i would give it a six and a half i think it deserves a six and a half i think six would be too low seven probably would be too high i've heard i've read some things where people saying they didn't like how it was shot 
that the camera seemed shaky and it looked like somebody was just holding up a camera and like, you know, I didn't get that. I don't know. It didn't, I wasn't bothered by how it was shot, how it was filmed. I enjoyed it. I just thought it was fun. It gets right to the point. You know, it's not just like you're watching an hour of story, like character development and you're like snooze fest and then the action happens. It's pretty quick into the film. I want to say maybe like 15, 20 minutes max and they get right to it. You know, you, you see the lion front and center. Um, you see a lot of the kills right then and there, like, you know, it's, it's, it's bloody, it's fun, it's a good time. I do recommend the watch. Like I said, it's streaming right now on Peacock. You know, go into it with an open mind. Don't expect the greatest film of all time. You know, I know it's Idris Elba. I know you're like, you know, he should be in like the best movies because he's just phenomenal, but it's, it's not going to be the greatest lion <laughs> horror movie ever but it is a good movie and I do think you're going to enjoy it so please comment down below let me know if you've seen the movie already what you thought of it if you plan on seeing it it's sale and seller approved I enjoyed it I think you guys should watch it I think it's worth a watch I think you'll enjoy it just go in for a good a good time and don't look into like nitpick into the story and what's realistic about you know this lion and what he's doing just have fun and you'll enjoy it as always guys thank you so much for watching make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back